What's up, you guys? Welcome back to your girl's channel. You know, the one and only Tabby's World. And today's video is going to be about how I regrew my edges. Mm. Sounds lovely, don't it? Okay, and I'm going to give my tips on what I used. Um, it might work for you, it might not. So you have to kind of play with it and give it like a little time. I don't know, maybe like two weeks of, you know, whatever product that you, you decide to use. So, okay. So just a little bit backstory on how I got to the point of, you know, my edges. Um, which is, this is the second time I pulled my edges out. The first time was because I had some jumbo box braids. And normally if my braids like really heavy or I can like feel it pulling down, um, I'll just take it out for whatever reason. I felt it, but I didn't pull it down. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't take it down. I don't know. So by the time I did take it down, some of my edges was gone, but it just wasn't like super, super noticeable. Um, so at that time I found two products that worked pretty well for me that time so this time i had a uh a frontal wig and the wig was already coming up pretty much so when i got home i just pretty much just pulled the wig up was that wasn't the problem the issue was not the cap neither Cause like I said, it was being ready to come off, you know, especially with me like working out, sweating, it was ready to come out. So I got the cap off. It was, I had glue, you know, the glue still is like left over. So me not thinking, I wasn't thinking apparently. I took a comb and just, you know, like this. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking like, I'm gonna comb this glue out of my hair and that's it. <sighs> what I do that for? Honey, I looked in that mirror like this, and that patch was gone. Like, you could just, I could just tell. Oh, I was like, oh my God. I done combed my edges out. And I called my friend, because I'm, like, I'm, I'm like, I'm about to cry, okay? Because, like, you, this was actually really noticeable compared to the first time that I had pulled my edges out. So... Okay, anyway, so, um, what I had to do was, because I really didn't know what to do. I was like, okay, does that mean I got to go back to wearing wigs? Like, just throwing a wig on and just, until I can get to go back, because I didn't know what to do. So, um, that is what I was doing first. I just was putting my wig back on, and I was like, well, I guess I can go back to using the products that I used the very first time um, to see. So, um, the, the two products I used the first time were Wild Growth Oil. To me, this works. I'm, I, it's, I, I ain't no uh, and ifs, buts about it. It works. The next thing is Jamaican Castor Oil. Original. They, they got different kinds. This a Jamaican mango and lime. Um, yeah, this is one I get um, all the time. And yes, I told you again, you're gonna have to experiment. So I was experimenting anyway. I was I bought this too. Rosemary black castor oil. It, they probably work too, cause I did. I used some of it. Uh, cause I think at one point I was like mixing a whole bunch of the oils together in like one bottle, shaking it up. But I wasn't really doing right with that for whatever reason. Um. I even dibbled and dabbled towards like the end of the uh, my year of this situation with Kaleidoscope. I don't really use Kaleidoscope a lot, so I can't really say if it really worked or not. Um, so, but to the two I swear by for sure is the Jamaican castor oil and the wild growth oil. Now, that's not to say Kaleidoscope isn't good. I I have it, you know, heard service that Kaleidoscope is good. So, if you want to use it, you can. I I think I still had a bottle on the way. Said I think it's like. $30. It's, it's at Walmart as well now, so if you want to check that out. Um, now, so what I do is I would, you know, when I would get it, 
the oils and I just, you know, I massage it in, just massage it in to the, to the spot. Um, and I wouldn't, I didn't want to oversaturate by doing it every single day. That's just me. I didn't want to. And I was like, because I feel like, you know, you kind of need to let your hair, that's like, you know, just breathe. Don't touch it too much. Don't, don't do too much. That's how I was thinking. I'm not a for sure hairstylist or anything like that. That is what I went by. Um, another thing that you have to know as well as your edges, if the follicle is completely damaged, the hair is not going to come back. And I was told this same information because again, this is the second time this had happened to me. So I was scared that I probably won't even, my hair won't grow back at all. So what I did was for two weeks, I was watching. Cause I felt like if I seen just some few hairs coming out, it'll grow back. I knew it would grow back. And um, here's a picture right here of like kind of like the two weeks or three weeks average to show like okay it's going to come back okay um and again after they grew back some what i did was no not some uh, i got this style this braiding style i think it's like i don't know what it's called it's like two layers of like feeding braids i saw you a picture of up here of the braids i had to kind of cover the sides, I, I did that at first to cover the sides while it was, you know, trying to see if it's going to grow back. And then what I did after that. So once it kind of got, it was kind of growing. I can't tell you what, how, what was the length because it still was short. And I was like, okay, I need to do something. And, you know, knotless braids is in style. So I asked the lady, could the knotless braids work on my hair? She said yes. So I got there for an appointment. The, <laughs> The young lady was like, what am I supposed to do with this? So the owner is the one that said, you know, that it can be done. So she came and, you know, showed her what she needs to do or whatever. I don't know. Because I'm telling it was still short. I don't, let me see. Maybe like about right here. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, it was short. But they when she once that owner showed her, boop. Made it work. <laughs> Made it work. And I wanted that because, again, I don't want to. I didn't want to touch the hair over and over again. You know, what I'm saying? I wanted to kind of leave it alone. I do believe in just leaving it alone. And like I say, you just go in. But just if, for sure, you want to use these products. These products. Um, and whatever products you want to use, because like I say, you have to play with it and play with it until you see what works. And like I said, this. This rosemary castor oil, it might be good. It might be good too. I just didn't pay attention enough to say yes or no. Clasco, I have heard good stories about Clasco. So at the end of the day, you have to try and see what what works for you. Okay. And like I said, just washing your hair every now and again uh, as well. And that's pretty much about it that I did to for him for my hair to grow back. And like I said, this was the beginning of my journey and this is the ending of my journey so and i'm i'm so happy y'all because y'all don't understand i was in distress when it when i first seen the mold spots i was like oh my god am i gonna get transplant um i think that is an option though if you know your hair follicles damaged yeah you probably have to get um a transplant uh if you want to if not you just have to wear styles like a wig or something um to cover it up or if you have enough hair depending on where the boss was like so my boss was right here and was like right here and like i said i had the the two layer braids of uh like going down now if you lifted it up i was exposed but <laughs> that's just an option ladies and like i said I just want us to be careful with our hair um and this is also to me because at the end of the day even with the jumbo braids i knew it was like weighing on my hair and i still lift it up i got the frontal and i feel like what i should have done if, since i know because i'm not good with regular weaves i'm not never been um i should have got on youtube because youtube is pretty good i feel like youtube a lot of women know that's that's a way of helping each other at the end of the day or call my stylist that did the hair because i did call the next i think the next day and she told me what to do but like i said please be careful take care of yourself and until next time bye <laughs>